Wow. Have you accepted your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? And if not, why? You fucking heathen. Kappa. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. I need the bandage. No, you need the bondage. All right, I removed your uh, shit. <laughs> eh, that's not a lot of damage, to be honest. You will live. Is there a fight ahead of us? No idea. Okay, well, do it regardless. Okay, Helion, we need you to stop sucking and kill it. Thank you. Whenever he transforms back into a human, he heals up as your companions uh, re reduce some of their stress. And But he can only transform to a beast once in a fight. So keep that in mind, friends. That's an awkward turn of events, though. Hold up. Then what? Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed with misintent. Bleed resist, blight resist, disease resist, minus disease resist. That's, that's, that's actually not a problem in the world, disease. It's a problem in the warrants. I had a feeling. And the feeling was correct to Mundo, friends. Dagger, dagger. Alright, maybe you kill- Wow! Fucking crit city. And he shit talked too, in Hebrew. Stun? No. No, the bite! The blight! Actually, let's just do this. So that the next fight, should it happen, will be infinitely easier. Abomination is the best self-healer in the game. He heals 4 damage and 8 stress level 1 every time. That's actually an Abomination Drinker. Nice. So too will resistance. Minus speed, but less damage taken. I'll take it. You don't need to be fast. The rest of the party is fast. Item had no effect. Huh, there was a trap apparently. Thanks, Admiral. And now the darkness holds dominion. A map inside. Death. So I guess we will increase the light aru. As the light gains purchase, spirits are And then do the fight, and then the then decrease it completely. I wouldn't have increased the light if uh, if I didn't uncover the map. Alright, this needs to die. And so does the Doomsayer. This is the toughest... The, this is the most damaging enemy in the... In the, the first dungeons. He... Fucks your sanity up. He can do up to 32... 34 sanity damage. 36 maybe even. 36 sanity damage. 9 per character with his AoE. And he has more, lots of dodge. And the blight isn't very good. In this case. Well, that will do. Pull him, perhaps. Ah, resisted. God damn it. At least destroy corpses. These two are completely worthless until unless they crit. 
Nine speed also. There we go, Doomsay. That's... Okay, it can deal 40, since I didn't know it can deal 10 stress. 40 stress from one guy. You can meet like three or four of them in the same party. It's tough. Health is not a problem. The other bit is... Harmless swipe since he's in the third row. Now if his initiative is higher than his, that happens again. To the heal. Thank you. It can do between 0 and 12, but the chance to roll a 0 isn't 1 and 12. It's much, 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 much fucking higher. Don't know the math exactly for it, but I am 100% certain it is much higher. Stunning this one made more sense. If his turn came first, he would miss it, and then the other guy would do the harmless poke. Harmless swipe now. The harmless poke is abandoned. Again, same idea. Do you want to use more healing? You only need 5 HP. Not really, no. Thanks. Dead. They have rather high protection at uh, 33%. But it's not a big deal. And in the next round I will buff myself. At least on the Grave Rover. Because there is a fight just outside our room. That was the last, last room fight, apparently. Okay. I don't remember what these do, but I do know... Wait, looks unaffected. I do know you want to use it. This is the last torch we will need. We actually don't need it. Uh, is holy water used in anything in the world? I'm not sure. Oh, wow. I was expecting some bullshit, but this is just two spiders. Itsy bitsy, tiny, you fucking missed. Wow. So the spiders will very likely do a double turn. What? Do you... can you even hit for six? Huh. Awkward. Very awkward. At least uh, there aren't any spitters, because with the luck we are having... Well, that's a lot of the... Nice, dodged. They mark, and then when, when the target is marked, they do a lot of damage. Anyway, stress heal yourself. So at least you are unfucked. That's a second stun in a row. That's tough. Its speed is 5. Our speed is much more than 5. How are you going first? Okay, this game some. Maybe it's a D10 at all, not a D6. Thank you, Stannis. You succeeded on nice striking an enemy. Can be felt. They can be beaten. Dark is their ally. Yes, yes. But we get gold from that. This requires a thing we do not have. Well, you are. I don't want you. Hysterical blindness. It requires healing uh, medicine thingies to interact with it. Any of you have a decent trap disarm chance? Well, yeah, that's the other grave robber. I was hoping for the high stress characters, but alas, you need bandages over here as well. Hmm. Is Anti-Venom going to do it? I don't think so. I might as well try. Nope. 
So we need another third bandage. Use both torches for a small scouting chance. No scouting. The torch is fading. No, I actually disabled the torch twice already. Game, thank you. May indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Shit! That's the first. That's the first actually detrimental uh, hero swapping that we have. Twelve. Nice. So I need you to move twice backwards. So she's in the first row. That's the most important bit in this entire fight. They don't have any markers, so these two aren't very good. The occultist is dead. Acolyte. Whatever. And hit points don't matter. There isn't a room battle in the next room. Because we completed the quest to finish all the room fights. Get him closer, perhaps. Thank you. So he's useless. He's closer. Unfortunately, there will be these characters will be out of commission for the next dungeon run. Sometimes it's good to just uh, sack them rather than uh, uh, low-level characters. You can just sack them rather than pay the uh, the fee for bringing their mental state back in order. It costs roughly a thousand per character. To get their stress back. Or like five plus turns of them doing nothing otherwise. A death by inches. Killian abilities used to be much more powerful. Uh, back when they didn't have the debuffs. Helion used to be extremely overpowered, actually. Nice. Slowly, gently. It's it's still probably one of the better characters, damaging wise for sure. Especially since you can exploit slightly and just remove the debuff every round. It's expensive, but it wins fights. with the medicinal herbs or whatever. No need for that though. Be wary. Triumphant and nothing else. Alright. Move skill chance extra, minus speed. That's for you, friend. Driving out corruption is an endless battle. And that's definitely for the Helion. Not a lot of uh, loot, actually. You are diseased. You have the Upers. Oh, that's that's a very nice trait on guard. Because Helion's speed is actually pretty low. Meaning that... Uh, there is a very small chance that the Helion will actually get uh, get to act in the first round. And in a party of three quick characters, the Helion also being able to quick to uh, act fast in the first round gives you a chance to win fights before the enemies move. Uh, these quick 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 blah, 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 reflexes is pretty good, but the minus speed when torch is below is somewhat bad place. for us. Before the crows and rats made it their domain. I cannot do this, but we can do this. I don't want to have... I don't want any more highwaymen, and I may... I guess we'll take one more grave robber. We don't need uh, more than two. Minus crit on range skills, pretty bad. That's pretty good, though. And that last one isn't important. And steady ruins adventurer. Nice. Uh, Okay-ish, I guess. This is pretty good. Shadow Fade. Lunge, Shadow Fade, Shadow Fade. Used to, used to play a party of four grave robbers. It's hilarious. Highwaymen are all bad. 
Do I want a second grave robber? Nah, not yet. So who absolutely needs to leave for uh, healing? Well, you need to leave to be a, strict regimen is a better a character. Is to master the brutal arithmetic of combat. Adrenaline rush, such a silly ability to be honest. But I guess we'll replace bleed out with it. All right, we have a blacksmith, but we cannot. We can. Nice. Stands ready to make weapons of war. Increase the speed, the the damage by one. It's not bad. Boss. Damage by one uh, to two and half a point of uh, crit. We can actually do another adventure with these guys. Warrior's Cap, plus 5 AC accuracy melee skills, plus 10 HP max hit points, Jester, we don't have any. Occultist, crit and damage versus Eldritch. So these are. Eldritch are over here. Eldritch are kind of dangerous. I'm removing the. Uh, Occultist, even though he's good against Eldritch. Right, I really shouldn't take you yet. Dickwad. Because you're a kleptomaniac. These are some pretty good skills he has. Well, okay, Eagle Eye isn't. Nor is Tick Blooded. But hard skin can be useful in the late game. How much would it cost for me to unfuck you there? Thousand five hundred, and he's a useful character. Can I make it cheaper? Curious methodologies and apparatus can calm even the most tormented soul. Do I want any of these permanent? No. And I, ju I just want Kleptomania gone. Before we go to the coves with you. You are completely worthless in the coves. And let's try to make the fucker work. I really, really dislike Highwaymen, but might as well try. Dualists advance. Really don't want that. We will regard this though. And the tracking shot. So remove this because it's very bad and get these abilities. And we'll take you with us. You need Judgment and Dazzling Light if you are to be in the fourth row. And you are actually pretty fucking handsome already, thank you. Any extra trinkets I have here? Blight resist, disease resist. There are no diseases in the coves. Is the blight? There is bleeding, not blight. I want you to be resistant to it. We? I'm pretty sure we had more trinkets. Alright, that's exclusive to the class. I might take you. Move skill chance. Do we have any move skills? Only on him. And it's the skill is mostly for damage. Okay. With extra speed charm and on guard, she has 11 speed on the first round. Really useful. It means I cannot really use the, the damage stone, but... It should be fine. Anyhow, coves are the toughest area, but also the most beneficial for, for grinding. I 
and we'll, I will take all the food. I'll take eight torches. You need medicinal herbs. Holy water isn't bad, and some of these. Uh, was it? Will I need the single holy water? Yeah, I will. I will. Almost assuredly. There is, I think, one curio in the coves which requires holy water to be extremely useful. Medicinal herbs, though. Extremely useful in the coves. Another mariner? Another misfortune. I mean, yeah. Oh, we were surprised. Awesome. That's pretty bad. Alright. Uh, fishmen are extremely resistant to bleeding. They deal a lot of damage. They are uh, very defensive as well. The jellyfish uh, have huge dodge and speed, but they only stun you. They, they are very unthreatening of an enemy. These things, you need to kill them first. If you don't kill them first, they blow up and de de deal damage to your entire party. A lot of damage. Nice music, actually. That's the stunning ability. It failed. Advance! So the thing with the fishman is that he has seaward slash and uh, spear fishing. Seaward slash can be used from the first two rows and attack one of the first two rows. Spear fishing can be used from the other two and attacks one of the guys in the back. Managing these, uh, where these assholes are fight is firing from is sometimes very good. I want to have a chance at fucking you up. That has failed. Well, I will want to kill this before before it attacks again. I'd rather have the drowned Thrall have another turn. Give them no quarter. Since it dies next turn anyway. He always does grab first and after the grab he explodes. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. That's extremely awkward. I guess I'll destroy this. That was the worst repositioning we could have had, I believe. That's better. Shit. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Lots of damage on the point blank. That's the only useful ability that the that the highwayman has. Okay, that's a hundred percent room battles. Let's do slight tiny bit of healing. No scouting. It's really nice to have a party which has uh, scouting quirks for the dungeon you are going to. Is there a chance that you will kill her? It. Quick. Yes, there is. This has insane d uh, damage resistance, only 5 HP. Um, it's also a very easy enemy, so probably ignore it. The spear fishing also pulls your character backwards, so I'll try to stun him. Sea maggots are, I guess, decent at resisting bleeding. No! 
Wait, maybe they only pull on uh, veteran and champion. Oh well. So the the slug is dead. Actually, scratch that. Everything is dead. Dave. And the crit. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Maybe I should have disabled the torch and re enabled it when we, uh, once we get inside the room. Oh well. I'm not min maxing enough. That's the last enemies that you will encounter in the apprentice uh, coves. Very high resistance. They guard their friends, meaning whenever you attack the friend, you attack him instead, and they cause bleeding. A lot of it, actually. Iron Swan, though. Very useful ability. Hit the last throw. Helion is fucking amazing. Okay, let's do some, uh, some Blight on this guy. And then some... Lightning from, uh, from the skies? He will be dead in two turns, no matter what. But I want him to be dead in this turn. So he is. So these fuckers will just cross guard each other now. Which also buffs their protection by a lot. It will take a while, but... They lost. Bleed? Nope. High resistance to bleed. Alas. Alright. Heal the Helion. He's dead in two turns, no matter what. You can break the guard by stunning the person who guards. Dead this turn. Actually no, still still one HP left. Shit. Never mind. It's not really very important though to break the guard. Unless they are guarding a vital target like the boss of this area or uh, one of those casters. Then you kind of have to deal with the guard with a stun. Hashtag Tyrannosaurus Rekt. That's a very nice trinket. Cheerios. Plus 2 speed. Plus 20% movement resist. No effect. No scouting. Shit. And here is why the shamans have to die first. This actually can damage two people at once rather than just a single person. They also have a huge buff to an ally, which buffs everything they do. Like plus 30% damage, plus a lot of accuracy and speed, and they can heal them to full. Really nasty enemies. Also dead. Somehow he went first though. If there were three people damaged, it's always better to do the party heal. With a single person, with two people damaged, it's better to do singulars. Unless, of course, both are on death door. That's kind of an exception. Oh no, he will damage us again. Whatever will we do? Probably slay the fucker on the spot. As victories mount, 
So too will resistance. What? Cultists? Huh. That's actually the first time I see them here. Hmm. Maybe. No, they they may be here. I, I just don't recall them being here. But regardless, uh, not a big deal. Just adds more bleeding to already bleed heavy uh, zone. There is a bunch of classes that removes bleeding. That remove bleeding. Self buff bl removes bleeding. Self buff removes bleeding, etc. Should have attacked the other one. And I forgot that Duelist Advance can damage anything. Regardless. Salvaged. This expedition at least promises success. Twenty five gold, nice. I'll remove the torch once we return to uh, the place to be. Wish I had Iron Swan, but alas, I'm not in the first position. Bleed for me, I'll bleed for you, but the sea breeze heals him to full. Still, it means that the sea that he doesn't uh, he doesn't fuck our stress. And the guy's dead regardless. The way is lit. The path is clear. Oh no, he's guarded now. Whatever will we do? Oh wait, he will die. And he will die. You will die. Never mind. <laughs> now it's a time for party heal, of course. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Only three damage. All right, because he has more protection. Probably dead. No, one damage off. There we go. Easy. Kappa keeper one two three. Move resist minus speed. It's good on you. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Skeleton key isn't very useful in this place. Uh, I don't remember what these do. Let's try to holy water it. Plus 18% damage. Ship wreckage is really nice. And if you find like a coral reef, if you use this, the medicinal herbs on it, you will remove a negative quirk from your character. It's really, really fucking nice to, to uh, farm these. Because it doesn't cost a week, uh, a day rather, no, a week actually, yes. And uh, it doesn't cost a hundred gold, a thousand gold either. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. What did I just do? <laughs> indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. I learned a new button. Apparently you can remove all of your... Uh... Wait, oh right, from the trap. Yeah, the traps in this place are really nasty. So medicinal herbs, they fucking remove everything. I learned a new button. Control shift click on an inventory item removes it completely forever. Okay, do I iron swan you? For insta kill, or do I? Yeah, I, I run this one. This. Uh, 
Then we will do ye all the flashing daggers, or this, is there a chance to kill it? There isn't, unless a crit. And the crit didn't happen, so... The chance isn't that high. Uh, you might work, though. Easy. He will guard the other idiot, and then they will both die. Actually, he will not guard the other idiot. No, never mind, he will. Shit, didn't manage to stun. I'll just try again, friend. No, oh, the bleed! The bleed! Didn't work. Stun him. Thank you. The light is an unfortunate uh, turn of events. Fucking deleted from the game. So are you. to the task's end. There is one more room battle somewhere. Interesting. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. This is actually the one area where walking without any light is pretty dangerous. Because it has an extra boss fight should you do that. A chance for it, of course, but... The boss fight is the toughest one in the game, by far, beating the end bosses by miles. This is the last fight, I think. Well, that failed. And th this is the buff, that's the last ability that we didn't see yet. Well, kill this instead. I don't want to be stunned. Spear fishing, no! I want her in the first row so she can iron swan the fuck out of them. Especially now that the barrier is on the mega buffed target. Twenty stress, wow. Oh shit! Okay, that's a lot of damage. They thought they nerfed Helians, and they did three times in a row. Still an amazing character. Will you survive? Yeah, we will. I want this dead. And it is! Even though if it bleeds has a penalty to damage. But it fits, so they sit. I'll do this, so maybe the Helion gets the vessel gets a, gets a turn, which she does. No crit, but still some healing. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. There is one more room, let's do it. I have enough food. She consumes one more when stressed out, remember? So we need to keep uh, five per. Okay, so this is dangerous territory. I kind of want to get the anti-venom. But not in instead of the... 
shovel. Let's do this. Cost me 250 gold, but... Shovels are potentially very useful because you can open clams with them. The here is the foot stick. And here is the second foot thick. No, okay, thankfully not. It happens to me. Four fucking foot thicks in a, in, a, in a single corridor. Followed by a fight with two doomsayers who went first and damaged my party uh, for uh, 60 total. That was 140 stress for the entire party within a corridor. It was fucking awful. But the game doesn't do that. It is just this. Docile, easy. And uh, outclassed at every step. I'll do one or two more videos on. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if we should just continue doing the entire, the entire playthrough. Might as well, right? But in that case, you will have to provide me with character names, friends. Scouting chance in the cove, that's really good, because whenever you get to a room, this is added. Evasive is pretty good, resilient is whatever. The plume and the pistol. And kleptofuck. Kleptofuck is no longer useless. Once we beat the... Once we beat a few more maps of Ruins, Warrens, Worlds, Coves, we will unlock bosses in them. Then, uh, once your party reaches level 3, it unlocks medium dangerous, medium difficulty dungeons, and level 5 unlocks the hard ones. Blight skill chance, blight resist, bleed resist. That's a good amulet. Scout chance, trap disarm. That's also useful for someone who doesn't want speed. Or you just re-equip it be, uh, before uh, entering the room. That's garbage. And this is complete dumpster. Accuracy on melee skills for a plague doctor, damage on melee skills and bleed skill chance. It basically buffs one ability. Uh, inc incision, I think it's called. Yes. It's not very good. I mean, it's technically just a beneficial amulet, so if you for some reason are forced to use the Witch Doctor... I mean, it's not bad per se, but you take the Witch Doctor for these... Then maybe Battlefield Medicine to cure Blight and Bleed on two targets in the same turn. Incision, yeah. Plague Doctor is perfect with Occultist, not with Vestal, because Occultist damages someone with weird reconstruction and he fucks it up with Battlefield Medicine. Also because of the amount of stuns and uh, blights coupled with the amount of control and debuffs that this guy has, pretty good. Anyhow, I'll see you next time on Darkest Dungeon. Uh, and it is up to you to decide whether I should just do a complete later of it or skip to a phase of medium maps and bosses now. Although there are medium maps, so might as well do a full playthrough. I don't know. We'll see how popular this is. See you then.